All right, the next move in the IP routine is called the glute bridge. So I'm going to turn sideways again and lay down, both knees bent. I'm just going to activate the glute, activate the pelvis, all, everything in the hip girdle. We're going to actually use our quads, our hamstrings. We're going to put our head down and we're just going to move the pelvis up. So push with, push with your heels into the ground, pelvis straight up, okay? Then bring down and up. There's not a required time on these. You can get a little bit more out of it if you stay up, but the point is general strength. So do about eight to 10 of these. And really try to push it up. And that concludes the move, guys. The next one after the glute bridge is just a version of glute bridge called glute bridge marching. So we're going to get into the same exact position as glute bridge. And now we're going to isolate one leg. We're going to put one leg down. And we're going to, we're going to let the hips dictate the movement of this leg. So we're going to bring the hips up, and this leg is going to come into running form. So while we're laying on the ground, we're going to be in running form. You can kind of see it here. We're going to come straight back down. Back here, and down. So this is a very mechanical movement. It takes some coordination. But just keep working on it, and you'll get it. So dorsiflex the foot that's coming up, just like you were in running position. So isolate that leg, and it can get a little bit more dynamic get a little stronger. Alright, switch legs, same thing. Again, don't forget to let the hips dictate the movement. Don't bring the leg up first and the hips second. Hips first. And that concludes the glute bridge. Alright guys, this is the uh, third version of the glute bridge. It's called glute bridge straight leg. So we're going to get back into the glute bridge position. And just like glute bridge marching, we're going to leave one leg out, but we're going to leave this leg alone. So we're going to let the hips dictate the movement. So we're going to bring the hips up, the leg's going to come with it. So we're going to come up and down. Now when we come up, we're not passing this leg's height, the bent leg height, with the straight leg. So it's going to come up to the height of the bent leg. Now I don't want to see anything like this or anything like this and leaving it low. I want it to be right at the height of the other leg. So six to eight of these. Just isolate that leg. Go ahead and switch. Just let that leg come parallel to the bent leg. That's the end of Blue Bridge Street.